In this video, we will look at solving distance problems where one individual has to catch up with another. Because he has to catch up, he has a head start. One has a head start. The person with the head start, we will add the head start to his or her time. When playing catch up, while one travels faster and one travels longer, they both will travel the exact same distance by the time the catch up has occurred. In math, we use equals for the same. They have equal distances. We will make the distances equal to each other. So for example, in this problem, Raquel leaves a party, and four hours later, Nick leaves to catch up with her. Let's organize our information in a table. Rate times time equals the distance. For Raquel, her rate is five miles per hour. For Nick, his rate is seven miles per hour. Raquel left first, and so she has the head start of four hours. We will add four to Raquel's time, while Nick's time is simply t. Multiplying together gives us five times t plus four for Raquel's distance, and seven times t for Nick's distance. If Raquel's distance is five times t plus four, and Nick's distance is seven t, but they're both the same, we can set those distances equal to each other. Five times t plus four equals seven t. That gives us an equation we can quickly solve by first distributing the five. Five t plus twenty equals seven t. Start solving by getting the variables all on one side of the equation. Subtracting five t from both will give us twenty equals two t. Finally, dividing by two will tell us the amount of time Nick needs to catch up. 10 hours. Let's try another example where we see one person trying to catch up with the other. In this problem, trip le Trey leaves on a trip. Julian leaves until she catches up to pass him. Let's organize our information again in a table. We know that rate times time equals a distance. For Trey, his rate is twenty miles per hour. For Julian, her rate, or speed, is thirty miles per hour. Trey left first and has a head start of two hours, so we will add two to Trey's time, while Julian's time is simply t. To find their distances, we multiply those together, to get twenty times t plus two for Trey's distance, and thirty times t for Julian's distance. If Trey is twenty times t plus two, and Julian is thirty times t, but they're both the same distance, we can set those equations equal to each other. Twenty times t plus two is equal to thirty times t. We can now start solving this equation by distributing the variable, or the twenty, through. Twenty times t plus forty equals thirty t. Start by getting the variable on the same side by subtracting twenty t from both. This gives us forty equals ten t. We finally solve for t by dividing both sides by ten. T is equal to four, four hours. It will take Julian to catch up with Trey. When the distances are the same, we set them equal, and that can help us solve these problems.